how to connect redis to any 10 step by step hey everyone come back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to connect redis chat memory to any 10 step by step so first thing first so why connect redis to any 10 because it helps you to store and retrieve workflow data faster share temporary data across workflows enable real-time automations like pub sub by the end of this video you will be able to set up radius and connect it to anything and build working radius powered automation so first let's get started before we dive in make sure you have the following ready first which is anything obviously anything install and running this could be on your local machine inside docker on a different version but if you are using Enden Cloud, the the steps are will be very different from this for the Docker version. Now then, in the second, you should have access to Radius Server, which is like this. Uh, you can install it locally, run it in Docker, and use cloud provider like Upstash or Radius Cloud. And lastly, you should have a basic understanding of how how to use Enden. <coughs> now. Let's make get started. First thing first, what you have to do is open your Docker. As you can see here, this is my anything. This is my Redis. Now, before we start, what you have to do is just simply click on this Radius chat memory. And I am building this workflow, but I want I have already a uh, connected Radius account. So let's make a new credential. First, you need password. Then this is a user. Leave blank for password only oath. Then you have to have a local host, which is which can be say you local host or uh, sorry IP address, which can be IP address, and then the port, and then a database number. You if you want to add, you can add then SSL. So you have to have these things. Now let's uh, get started. First thing, what you have to do is just simply open your Docker terminal or just simply open your terminal and then from here as you can see this is my terminal so what you have to do in order to do first type docker piece as you can see here the all the images are appear in front of you the container id then image names command created when i created this so all of those things now what you have to do is just copy this uh, container id i will copy you have to copy the container id of anaten if you don't know how to install and pull this anaten image into the docker container uh, you can watch my other videos which i have demonstrated how you can install anaten into your docker and start using it now you can watch that for installing that now what you have to do is just simply copy this container id and then what you have to do is next after that you have to uh, check the inspector uh, just inspection just type docker and then now over here you have to add inspect and then after over here you have to enter the id uh, sorry container id which we have copied of anaten just simply okay just copy this again and paste it over here and hit enter so as you can see it will pop up something like this so what you have to do is search for your you have to find your network graph now, as you can see in the network, you have this is my name, network name. Now, just simply copy this and open a new, uh, open new terminal. Type Docker run detach for D and is equal to name. Now, you have to enter the name of your radius <coughs> and then double dash and network after that you have to enter your network name which is a uh, bridge okay i have added this command okay bridge 
and then what you have to do is after entering your network name you have to add again radius radius server and after that you have to add the required pass over here you have to enter your password right now this is my password now as you can see in the docker i have the same name so what i am going to do is just simply delete one of these the radius 2 and click on this read forever now let's move back and give the name radius 2 now let's hit enter and so uh before we got the error now i fixed that error and we got this id so what you have to do is just simply copy this id and check whether the nn and the radius are running on the same uh, server or network so in order to do that what you can do is just simply in order to do that just simply type docker and inspect and hit the uh, copy this id and just simply copy this id and paste it over here and hit enter now as you can see here in the network we got the same name and because nn and the radius uh, working running on the same server or okay, same network so now next is you have to find the ip address in order to do that first scroll up and find the network name uh, this is the network name and in the network name you will get the ip address which one which is this one so just copy this and after copying what you can do is just go to your workflow and click on this radius chat memory double click on it and click on this create new credential now in the local host you have to enter this ip address and then the password which we have added earlier and then the port now in order to check the port if you are not do not know which port they are using which you can go into docker and uh, let's find out the port search for docker ps and now in the port section you will get the port address now just copy that and paste into your port now what you have to do is just simply click on the save and as you can see here we have successfully generated our credentials successfully now if you retry and connection tested successfully now just simply copy and save it now from here you can do your setting based on your needs so this is how you can connect the radius with nn so i have created this tutorial just for docker if you want tutorial on how you can connect radius for the cloud version just comment it down below i will make that video for that just thank for watching